Hello Oud lovers and fragrance enthusiasts. Today we're going to be talking about what Oud smells like. More specifically, what it's like burning Oud. Before we get started guys, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon when subscribing. It will alert you of our latest videos. So today we're going to be talking about what it's like burning Oud and what you're going to experience when you first burn a piece of Oud chip. Now there is a massive difference between oud wood and dental oud, oud oil. The scent profiles can be hugely different and also the difference in burning oud and heating oud can be different experience and smell. So today we're going to mainly focus on what it's like burning oud. The best way to burn oud is to make sure that your charcoal has burnt through thoroughly and it has a layer of grey ash over it. Once you've done that, then you place your oud chip on there and then you'll experience all the incredible notes that come out from this. The first thing you're gonna experience within the first few seconds, depending on the wood chip you're using, today we're gonna mainly focus on Bangla Kakawa Hindi oud chip that we've got. And what you're gonna experience is this incredible mixture of eucalyptus, mint, methanol and, and a rosemary mix combination. That will be the top note on the Bangla Kakoa. There afterwards you'll experience this kind of fruity, honey and uh, slightly woody notes, resinous notes. It, the list can go on because the w one wood chip is not exactly the same as the ne next one. Yeah, in general, they tend to have a general scent profile, but sometimes you can get one wood chip that can smell totally different to all the others. And again, this comes down to the grade and the region it's from, to the species, the subspecies of, of the Aquilera tree. When burning oud chips, you can get a vast array of, of different notes and tones from a single wood chip. And it can vary anything between fruity notes, citrusy notes, melon notes, dry berry notes, to 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 ambergris notes to vetiver notes really the list goes on I, I could sit here for a long time going down a list of things that you could possibly experience when you're burning an oud chip also when you're even wearing an oud oil you can experience similar sort of things but it's, it's the, the experience is different now when it comes down to the effects of oud on the mind and the body and, and the soul is really on another level, like nothing else on earth, in my opinion, in terms of fragrance and in terms of incense. It really is uh, it's something that is totally different from any other incense you'll ever burn or heat, heat up. It has this incredible narcotic magnetizing effect on your on your on your olfactory senses it truly blows your mind especially when you think about the fact that it's a one single source ingredient that has so many variable uh, notes and tones in it and the effects it has on you when you're smelling it is is like nothing else it truly is an experience that will blow you away in my opinion anyway guys with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you a little bit more of an understanding on what it's like uh, burning oud and the effects it has on you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon, guys. With that being said, thank you for joining me. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.